Hi everyone, I'm Megan and welcome back to another lab video for Analytics and Decision Sciences 1493 Professional Analytics. In this lab, I will be investigating subs, functions, and event procedures with a main focus on events. This is part three of three videos related to subs, functions, and event procedures, so I recommend watching part one and part two before this video. I based the material presented today off of VBA for Modelers, the fifth edition by Christian Albright, in IV case 9B11E027 by Wei Zia, which you can find on IV Publishing through the link provided below. Please open Excel and follow along as we get started. An event procedure is called automatically by Excel when the corresponding event occurs. They are linked to Excel objects such as worksheets, charts, and workbooks. Events enable us to develop more interactive spreadsheets and I'm going to give you an example as to how to create an event. So first we open the Visual Basics editor and here we can click on sheet one. So what we're gonna do in this event is whenever we change something on the sheet, we are going to add a message box that says, please check the value you've changed. So what we're gonna do is from this general drop-down box, we are gonna change it to worksheet. And then what we are also going to do is we are going to change the selection change to just change. And as you can see, we are getting a private sub, which means that it only works within this sheet called worksheet change. And what it's going to do is it's whenever we change something, it's going to give us a message box. So all we're going to do is write message box and then we're going to say please check the value you've changed. So what we can expect from this macro is that whenever we change something on the sheet, we should see a message box. So this could be really helpful if we don't want anything to change on a sheet unless absolutely necessary, then we can have a message box that just says, you know, are you sure you wanna do this? Or something along those lines just to make sure that we are eliminating as much user error as possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate back to sheet one and let's change the value in cell A1. So if we go ABC, hit enter, we can see that now our message box pops up and says, please check the value you've changed. So that's what we wanted to happen. And whenever we do that on this sheet, so actually we'll navigate back and we'll just click on a random cell so O10, we'll put in a number. Same thing, we get our message box. So whenever we change something on a sheet, we should be getting this message box because the event happened. So there are quite a few different values that we can use. So we can use activate, before delete. So if we go to delete something before we delete it, then we will get this action pop up. There's also before double click, before right click, and a few more all the way up until table update. So this is a useful thing as it allows us to know when a certain event happens or initiate a certain procedure when a specific event happens. That was an example on creating an event, which occurs automatically when a specific action is done. I hope the material presented was useful when using VBA for decision modeling. If you liked this video, please like and comment as well as subscribe to our channel. We have more content related to VBA for decision modeling in our playlist, so if you're interested in more videos, please check it out. 
I'll see you in our next video. Bye.